once told myself that I wanted to be the very best, the best there ever was. To catch them all was my real test, to train them was my cause. Finally, the Pokemaniacs around the world can rejoice. After two years, a real Pokemon game surfaces and brings new luster to the DS with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And who better to explain about diamonds and pearls than the artist himself? fourth generation of Pokemon games, you'll start in a new world called Shino, which introduces more than 100 new types of Pokemon, making that a total of 493 cute creatures to capture and collect. So what's new in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl? You can be a boy or a girl. That's not new, and I don't think he's decided yet. To tell you the truth, the plot is the same as previous Pokemon pastimes. You'll have the option to be a boy or a girl, and then you'll meet a rival and a professor who wants you both to fill out an electronic Pokemon dictionary called the Pokédex. To aid you in filling out the Pokédex, you'll be given the option of picking out a starter Pokemon that's a grass type, fire type, or water type. I choose you, Fire Monkey! You're my new best friend! After picking a cute critter companion, you're off to embark on a journey of manhood slash womanhood by leaving your village and entering a world where everything revolves around the catching, raising, breeding, and fighting of Pokémon. Think of it as a family-friendly version of cockfighting. Generally, it's pretty much the same feeling you had when playing Pokémon Red and Blue back in 1999. As much as this man enjoys touching himself, the touchscreen doesn't play a big role in battling. Instead, it's mainly used for minigames and poke management. You can now dress them, bake for them, or listen to the repetitive odd noises that Pokemon make. Oh! So that's what it sounds like when doves cry. Although there's very little touchscreen functionality, the game takes full advantage of the DS's Wi-Fi capabilities. Gone are the days of tracking down a friend with a link cable just to trade and battle. Trading and battling can be done with ease via wireless or over the internet. Overall, these Pokemon games are the best yet and will most likely cement Nintendo's domination in the handheld market. The only drawback is the all too familiar storyline that we've seen in the past three generations. But all in all, it's still a kick ass Pokemon game, especially in multiplayer. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl gets a 4 <sighs> out of 5. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.